Mr. Javan, the crisis in Cameroon, just like you highlighted in your uh, opening statement, still continues. We are facing uh, a crisis without a solution or way out at this particular moment. And uh, news of the arrest of three um, involved in the sponsoring of the crisis in Cameroon uh, came in on Monday. What do you think this means to the crisis on the ground? Did you have any, uh, was there any news of how the news or this issue was welcome on ground zero as a colleague? Uh, absolutely, I might not be able to give the exact uh, reaction of the people on ground zero, but there is one thing which I'm certain about. We know that the, 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 the breadth of every crisis is a source of uh, funding, and we know that if the funds are being affected, or, uh, then obviously there, there should be a, a direct reaction that we'll, we'll, we'll see playing on the ground. Mm -hmm. We know that the United States are, uh, as a country, they have charges they have against these people first, against the United States laws, yeah. not yet against the, the laws of the Republic of Cameroon. So now, when we, when we look at the impact that the crisis have had on the, on the Cameroonian people for the past five years, which we are still witnessing to date, in fact, they are becoming devastating by the day, we can say that, yes, if these people have been indicted by a United States uh, Department or a United States Court of Law, it might play on how other members or on other contributors that uh, are playing an active role in this crisis might see how they, are, they will tend to re react or to attend or to carry on their various objectives because these people have been indicted i think with about four different charges we have raising funds material sports money laundering and so on and so forth so anybody that is involved in this crisis in such a department or in such a capacity will know that maybe whatever they are doing does not only relate to the people of cameroon but also relates to where he or she is and then how do the government or how do the laws of those particular areas react or treat such a situation because it wouldn't actually be a problem if actually the laws of such a, of an environment where you carry your activities doesn't actually maybe see it as a problem but if it is punishable by the law then you know that you are going against the law so i think that these people that have been arrested and are currently they are expected of course to plead whether guilty or not guilty in the court of law uh, I think that those that are going to be involved or those that have been involved in the crisis would then start analyzing to see if what they are doing does it actually ties with the laws of the country that is cohabitating where they are cohabitating does it actually makes them law-abiding citizens of the countries where they carry their passport the countries where they think or where they believe they are now citizens of the country because if you are going against it then you should know you are not actually abiding to the law of your country and at any point of uh, any point in time the law might caught up with you and once the law caught up with you obviously there will be a repercussion on the, on ground zero as it is normally called because what obviously you have been doing will be limited it might be restricted and maybe a, a faction or maybe those you directly work with on ground zero might face the impact the impact might not be that uh, they might also be arrested no of course it can be that the lack of the form who obviously limit their activities we have seen we know that most of the operations that are being carried back then they are, they are they are facilitated by funds and when we see that funds are being targeted or the sources of funding are being targeted then it's no question or there should be no doubt that obviously it will reflect on their activities but my our major focus or our major worry should be how or, 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 over which span would will, will it cut across because we know that this crisis actually that there are many people involved in the crisis so just three people might create an impact which might not be very much significant mr germans the fact that Cameroon government has uh, been pleading with uh, countries hosting uh, separatist activists to react to indict them to extradite them to Cameroon I look at what is happening in the US do you think it's related to the request Cameroon had earlier made for maybe US to indict those persons sponsoring uh, the separatist activities on the ground do you think it's close related many believe that is uh, an internal US affair and what do you think is it uh, related in any way absolutely it is not related to, to the best of my knowledge it is related because uh, one of the panelists rightly stated the United States uh, uh, is, a, is a country 
of uh, uh, it's a sovereign country, of course, with their internal laws. If it was uh, actually a, 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 a cooperation between uh, uh, the U.S. playing to the tone of the Cameroonian government, I think that there could have been more of uh, the, the, those people couldn't have even been wasting time in the United States because the, the United States will not just pick up somebody and then they are sending to Cameroon or they will not speak. They, 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 they have to go through their process, the, the process of investigations. And for now, we know that these people are investigating and are tabled be be before the U.S. law and are supposed to prove whether guilty or not before U.S. law. And if you look at the, the charges that I've given against them, there are charges with respect to the U.S. law and not charges with respect to the Cameroonian law. And if you look right. at the possible sanctions, there are still sanctions according to the U.S. laws and not those of the Cameroonian laws. So for now, I think that it is an internal affair that concerns strictly the United States of America. There is a possibility that within the course, as the, the, the U.S. going ahead with their proceeding, if they find or if they discover that these people are actually uh, maybe uh, guilty of what they are, they are charged of, then they can look into the possibilities of extradition. But now in looking into the possibilities of extradition, there is something we should understand that these people are Cameroonian born but they are not Cameroonian citizens does the US law permit the US to actually extradite a US citizen to a foreign country that they have maybe funded terrorism they all funded activities that violates human rights to that country I don't think so I stand to be corrected on that. So actually, if it is that they were still Cameroonian citizens, then we can be looking at the possibility of Cameroon telling the U.S. that no, this is this these people are our citizens. Return back these people to us. Let us maybe judge these people based on our laws. But we are talking about people that have naturalized. They are carrying on the United States. Um, passport they have the citizenship of the united states so by every by everything we know that united states citizens we know that our constitution in cameroon doesn't permit dual nationality in fact if you have a second nationality automatically you are not longer a cameroonian citizen do we actually think that it would be possible for the united states to send their citizen back to a country that they don't own the nationality yeah. to actually face the law those are the things we should be looking uh, we should be looking at I don't think that we can be giving credit to maybe the battle between the, or maybe the pleas of the government that the, the, that the United States or maybe any country, uh, 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 any country uh, that there the are separatist leaders there, this is a win for them. No, this is actually not a win. As one of the panelists stated, stated maybe these uh, people have just maybe not defended what they have in their accounts or maybe the sources of their finances cannot be justifiable of course we know that as a united states citizen any money you make in any part of the world be it even when you are out of your country you have to justify it so that you should at least be held accountable for so if these people have failed to, uh, to be accounted uh, to be accountable for what they have in their accounts of monies that are, they have managed over a period of time they have the right to be indicted or the, the united states have the right to indict them and it is all left to them to present their facts to argue their facts to make it clear or to prove that maybe they are not involved in state or sponsored terrorism in another country or they are not involved in separatist activities in another country which cameroon actually happens to be concern now it could be the case with any other country not only with cameroon with cameroon but in this case since these are cameroonian born uh, u.s citizens that are directly being accused of a situation that affects cameroon i think that uh, we should allow the u.s do their work if they do their work and then they decide to punish the people according to the united states laws good and fine but i know that if a time comes that there is supposed to be an extradition or these people are supposed to come to Cameroon, the U.S. will have to consider if it is possible for these people to regain their Cameroonian citizenship, for them to come back to Cameroon, or these people are supposed maybe the U.S. will now say that, okay, maybe they cannot handle the situation or they cannot punish their citizens. Cameroon should do that. I think that all of that, the process or the law will, will, will actually take its course. It is not left for us to, to, to maybe see or to maybe give credit, credits to the government on that. Afrique Média. Le 
le monde, c'est nous.